All right, everybody, welcome back to episode number 15 of my Let's Play of Outer Wilds. Hope you are all doing well this fantastic day. We're actually on a bonus stream today um, playing this and really excited to be jumping back into this. I do feel though like the, the first bit is probably going to be a bit of um, reading simulator because um, I feel like we need to read over some of the ship's logs. There must be something somewhere in them ship logs or, or ship logs where that will tell us um, what we are um, missing or what we need to do. So we're going to start off, we're going to jump in and um, read through the ship logs, see if we can find anything. And if not, we're going to see if we can um, investigate the towers a little bit more. But until then, guys, let's jump right in to another fantastic episode of Outer Wilds. Here we go. So yeah, hopefully um, it shouldn't be too bad though. The video I has literally just finished rendering as well. So um, yeah, we should be all good. What's not all good though is I haven't got my Twitch page open. Anybody redeems rewards? Also, I haven't started the timer. The loop. Computer lesson to do with technology systems. Nice. All right, reading simulator. Time to go. Um, all right, so ring around the equator. Station used to mold the towers, which were built for the Ash Twin project. The Arash twins are so close together, they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe. Uh, this is the stuff that they use to create the shell for the Ashton. I remember reading that last night. They did some testing of the um, durability on the um, on the volcanic island place. Thanks, crazy. Raised by Hull Forge, ten powerful hives, and walk or. I might call it the eye. Abandoned settlement because of that. Escape pod. Escape pod. Not going to be anything in there. And the sun station in order to power the Astrium project. So no more post construction. Destruction of the solar system. Travel to the solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe named the eye. That chert. That's my controller disconnecting. Right, a good lesson, crazy. Okay. Okay. Um. Apologies if you can hear some noise in the background as well. I've got some uh, workmen next door repairing a fence, so apologies. That last night.
paths to there. Tornado simulator. That's what we did last night. Okay. Warp tower alignments are not exact. This one just seemed very... This, this whole sort of area around here. Our class twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. Shared alignment point in the... But there's two. Diagram. It's in the angle of I mean, Warp Tower and its correspondent. Where was this? Results slightly longer warp windows that last roughly several seconds. Anyone stepping into the warp platform during this active window will be immediately warped. Where did we find that bit of information? Whitehall station was used to model. Not sure where we found that information though. That's So it's in the Black Hole Forge, okay. Right, I want to go to the forge. Just want to go to the forge. But to get there, we actually need to go not to there, we need to go to the Hourglass Twins, don't we? Because it's the only way to get to the forge is to travel via the hourglass twin. the Ash Twin project ones. We've got Ash Twin. What's the next one out? Timber Hearth. Brittle Hollow. Okay. So... Hourglass Twins Makes sense because there's two of them So this one should be the This one I don't know if this one is the right one or not well, I guess we'll wait. Find out. Annoying today. 
problem with the PlayStation 4 controls is that they, um, over time, they um, sort of break the US, USB, mini, mini USB cables, micro USB. The amount of cables I've gone through with this controller is ridiculous. More Sanders there. There's still a little bit. It's either this tower or the next one, I'm not really sure. That's the only problem. strange. Okay, that is not the tower we are looking for. Because this one over here is... I don't know if I get it in time. Well, we're in. I don't know if we're lined up correctly, but we're in. <laughs> okay, it should come into view momentarily. Need to wait for that to um, orbit back up the top around us. here on the black old forge you know what though I haven't sent the black hole forge to the ceiling gosh darn it well that's unfortunate You'd have thought there'd been like a way to send it down, wouldn't you? Or send it up when it's in the opposite position. not there's no way to well, that's unfortunate that was it's a bit of a waste of a loop really weren't able to really capitalize on that
I just made an interesting observation. So, the... Go back to the ship log a minute. I need to reconfirm something. Check what it actually says um, about this. Okay, so, what I don't understand here, or what's what's piqued my interest here, is that it says the twins are so close together that they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. But they don't share a point, right? Because there's... On their tower, there is two different on their um, tower. There are two different warp platforms, right? Not only that, I just made an observation that we read about all of the towers are on the, or all of the warp points of the towers, or was it warp points for the towers? I think it might have just been the towers. Oh, let's double check what it actually said. Alright, each of the towers are on the Ash Twins equator, okay? Um, when I just flew around there, I noticed, with the exception of the Hourglass Twins tower, you can pretty much see it here as well, like, all of the... All of the um, warp pads are actually in a line, apart from the hourglass twins. Is that important? Does that mean anything? don't get what it's saying though about this the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them is that saying that the alignment point for the hourglass twins is the funnel of sand that's moving around? don't get what it means by a single alignment point because there is more than one alignment point on the Ash Twin Tower.
There's this one which takes you inside the Ash Twin Project. And then there's this one which takes you to the surface of the Ember Twin. Maybe there's something on here that I'm forgetting about or missing. I think what we need to do first and foremost, we need to go to, we need to go to the, we need to go to Brittle Hollow, we need to send the forge up to the ceiling, then we need to travel um, to the forge and take another look at that diagram of the alignment points. Clearly something I'm, I'm misunderstanding about those alignment points. I'm not sure what it is. Like I say, it, it's... It says that there's a single alignment point for the hourglass twins, but when we look at the ta when we look at the, the there's two points on the tower that send you to two different locations. So how can there be? How can there be a shared point? Between them. if there's two. That makes sense? Is that, does, does the way I've worded that, does that make sense? Yo, Karaki, hopefully I got your name right. Uh, welcome on stream. Yeah, I'm really loving the game. We are, I think we're pretty much there um, in terms of finishing things up here. We're just trying to, or sorry, I'm trying to understand more than anything. Obviously, no spoilers, please, because uh, it is a blind playthrough. I'm trying to understand how we get into the Ash Twin. And um, we spent a bit of time on this in last night's stream. I'm moving? Is on the move? Yep, the forge on the move. Um, yeah, we spent a lot of time trying to... We, we came up with some interesting ideas and theories last night. Weren't able to, unfortunately, work out what it was we needed to do exactly. And um, we've not been streaming for too long today, but I've spent a bit of time rereading some of the um, logs that we have found to try and understand if I am missing something um, that I've already read. Um, there's a point of interest that I've discovered which says, um, which was from the Black Hole Forge, and it says about the Ash Twin project, um, and the Hourglass Twins have a single um, 
like astral body between them like a single like warp place uh, for lack of a better term between them which I don't quite understand because there are two towers on the ash twin which sends you to two different locations so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work out basically where we go from there uh, all right let's just go I think we got a, a waypoint So yeah, that's where we are. Oh yes, we've 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 explored. We've explored. We finished the DLC on Monday actually. So we've actually finished everything up with the DLC. There's just a couple of bits on the main game that we just need to tidy up. And that's um basically what we're trying to uh figure out now. But yeah, we have um this is um, episode 15. I don't know how many. Actually, I don't know how many hours. How many hours have we put in? We have put in uh, a bit over 40 hours, it seems, in total. That's the sun. That's the ash twin. Hourglass twin. So the tower I want will be roughly around there, won't it? I think. Probably not spend time orbiting like this. I'll probably get caught out by the sun at some point and probably pulled into its gravitational pull my bearings as to where I actually am. Put the south pole here. There's the sun station. Actually, I think I need to... Oh, my flying's not up to scratch today. That's the sun station. Um, to be fair, I've, I'm pretty sure I understood everything in the DLC, yeah. And um, the game was actually gifted to me by one of my um, viewers. And they've been here pretty much for every episode. I'm streaming. At a, it's not a normal time for me streaming. They're not here at the moment. Um, and they did inform me. Oh, Christ, that's not good. Too much speed. They did inform me that there were, depending on how much you'd explored... Um, up to the point of doing the DLC, it kind of depends what outcome you get. And they did tell me that I got the um, the the good ending or, or the good ending on the DLC because I'd explored enough to see everything. But yeah, I, it was. Um, I'm pretty sure everything was um, explained pretty well. I am, uh, where is the tower? Maybe I should have slept for a bit before I, I look. Ah, is this the tower? This could be the tower I'm looking for. No, this is not the ash, uh, it's not the tower I want. It's the next one along that I want. been a bit of a culture it's been a bit of a shock to the system though like the last last night and tonight coming back to like the main game it's been like well it took me i think about five streams to do the dlc and um i was like okay so what was i doing six streams ago <laughs> but luckily there, there wasn't i didn't have too much after the doing the dlc that didn't have too much to go back to I think last night, all we had to do last night was um, 
We did the... What did we do last night? Oh, that's right. We finished off the... Um, no, uh, that's not good. We finished off Giant's Deep. We worked out how to uh, use the jellyfish to get into the core and find the, the probe. So now we have the coordinates for... Um, we have the coordinates for the eye, thanks to the probe. And then I think we there was just some like little bits of information we hadn't found before that we picked up, and then we pretty much spent the rest of the stream trying to work out how we uh, how we do this. Which you can probably tell. We are yet to discover. Just want to get to the Black Hole Forge, please. Just missed it while it's going back into orbit, isn't it? Okay, this is the one. This is the one. But we just gotta wait for it to um Gotta wait for it now to um sand to disperse. We've only got twelve minutes left of this loop. Which isn't so great. If I'd have been a bit wiser about this, I could have probably timed these uh, and made a made a note of like when these towers become accessible. It's anything inside, actually. Yikes! Not good. I'm almost out of fuel. And dots. Maybe I should have waited this out in the ship. Maybe. Next question is... Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll definitely holler if I am... Um, I'm feeling a little bit stuck. Right, fuel's not an issue. Forge is there. So let's go inside the forge. And I just, well, like I said, all I want to do here is I want to look at the. I'm sure, this is where the alignment diagrams were, looking at my ship's logs. I need to understand what it means between the single point between the hourglass twins, because as far as I'm concerned, there is no single point between the hourglass twins. Where was the diagram? Okay, the diagram is here. Wait, but this is just the... Uh, this isn't all of them though, is it? Is it? Does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the central of the astral body when it's tuned? Much next no matter, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower may no longer align with an astral body. Frankly, I enjoy precision as, as the next no code, but the next no matter is not poke. Uh, we don't need the alignment angle to be exact, it only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body's center. The slightly longer warp window, I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. Any no mice stepping into the warp platform during this activation window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active. 
Need to be careful around the platform for the duration of time it is active. Around the platform. Okay. Is that alluding to something? Something around the platform. Exit stage this way. Have you jumped the first time you walked to the black hole? Um, don't th think so. Do you mean like jump off the platform to my death sort of thing? That's not good. Okay, so let's think. This one is the platform right here. So what if I was to stand in here? It said around the platform, didn't it? Maybe stand here? Was this Nomai trying to get in here? Well, if if I did jump, I don't think I fell off, so... It's not ideal doing this now because, like, we're almost out of fuel. But... So nothing happened there. So we had to be careful around the platform when when it links up. So lack of a better term, let's just make a way to this chip quickly. Our jetpack. I'm gonna... That's that, okay. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna restart the loop. Restart the loop because I've got no jetpack fuel left. I assume if you jump, though, from the ceiling of the Black Hole Forge, you just fall straight into the Black Hole. Get out of here, fire. Oh, yeah. Just past 25, past 11. Okay. Uh, let's sleep, actually, for... Let's let about five... Five minutes or so pass first, just to let some of that sand die down. My brain is working overtime. Not 
so Pilex is going to go around the back of the sun and we'll get drawn into the sun's gravitational pull. Let's just wait till we've cleared the sun enough. Now we'll autopilot. Look at that, we're like perfectly positioned for the uh, the tower that we want as well. Right there. Like five minutes as well is definitely like a, a good time amount to sleep, so we'll definitely keep that in mind. Okay, I'll shoot here. Yeah. Okay, let's wait for sand to lower a little bit more. <sighs> oh wow, I never noticed that on the sun station before like that. The, the warp area on the sun station is um, pretty um, over here so we don't get sucked up uh, the warp tower on the sun station like the design of it is like pretty um, pretty um, prominent like when it was in front of um, the sun there it's quite interesting So, what can we try differently here? There's like a five degree leeway, it said, right? This is the tower. Question is A. How can we use that warp pad and stay on there when the sand comes around? Okay. What if we wait out here? until the sandstorm is coming over and see if we can then quickly get to the launch pad before we get sucked up by the sand maybe just got to avoid that cactus as we try and run through but I don't know it's an idea it's an idea did say that there's like a there is a bit of leeway isn't there got in. Holy smokes! Wow, okay. Oh boy. 
This is the room we've seen from the projections. So, okay, so we've received data um, when the loop started. Mask receiving data from probe tracking module, giant steep memory statue, and timber hearth memory statue. 11 minutes until the end of cycle transmission. Okay. This is the projection pool. This is where we've seen before. All of this has been clouded over previously, though. There's a lot to read here. Kind of wish I'd have turned off my. Um... Okay. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. No, sorry. Okay. So today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin here. In here, in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin project, powerful enough to send information back in time. You can do it in the options. Ah, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. We're also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep an, our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab, I still can hardly believe Rami's hypothesis was true. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower uh, for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giants Deep, where Cassava is working with Avens to craft the Orbital Probe Cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. The cores could have been forged faster if Cassava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is, we are all connected through the Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giants Deep tested the Orbital Pro Cannon day. Mallow tells me that the cannon is doing well, and that Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from the device, Avens can. But then if anyone can... Anyone can can goad a device into exploding, that, that too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check with the Orbital Pro Cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? Fox and Daz finished the memory statue state, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Adir have worked hard on the sun station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will turn, which in turn supply the power the Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. So much information. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here is what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Okay. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. Okay. So, the Ash Twin project then is kind of like since it's been constructed, that's like their master sort of command center, it seems, right? And so is what's interesting here is that we've read before about like the Nomai share their knowledge with other Nomai at these like, for lack of a better term, like these conventions, right? We've seen when we look at 
the universe and like the resulting stars in the universe. We've also noticed, or we noticed last night, that obviously less the, all the stars are going into supernova. Okay, so maybe, and this is just like a theory. I'm theorizing as I have done throughout this entire game. Maybe there are nomais throughout the universe that are doing exactly the same thing that they're doing here at this solar system in other solar systems. Whereby they're causing the sun to go into supernova to almost power this this Ash Twin project, which it's it's all it's weird. It's it's almost like the Nomai are here. I mean, they, they, they don't they don't appear to be hostile creatures at all, but it's almost like they're here to destroy solar systems and take all of that energy for them to then live in that solar system. That's assuming... I mean, that, that's what I'm getting from our solar system. That's assuming that all of the other supernovas that are in occurrence, the same thing is happening. Or is it a case that they... Oh, hold on. What, what did they... Yeah, okay, so the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun. I was just thinking, did they send off other... other um, were they able to send off other um, like shots or fire at the other suns in the other solar systems to make them all go into supernova, or is it independent projects? It may be, you know, that the, these, the Nomai are actually responsible and traveling the universe killing off solar systems just so that they can then survive themselves I, I don't know just just a hypothesis and theorizing as i have done like i said throughout the, this entire game these words are difficult to write the sun station did not work suppose we redesign the sun station to generate our generate power of that magnitude a supernova is still our own viable option i believe we can still find a way to create a supernova my friend don't lose hope this is easier expressed than accomplished you can wait for the you can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Adia. But you'll be need to find some way to halt our aging process. However, this is the closest we have have ever been. The Ashtwin project is theoretically sound. We were only we are only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. Okay, well that's maybe that washes that theory away then. This is just what they were hypothesizing, right? So maybe the, the sun is naturally dying. They haven't caused a supernova event then. I take back what I said about them. Um, I suppose we have read though before in, in other texts that the they weren't able to create the supernova themselves. Um, so they'll send the order for the orbital program to fire back in 20 minutes. Then what happens? Yeah. So what's weird... What's What's interesting here, though, is they intended this. They intended this to be able to almost. I suppose they're, they're looking at like eternal power, right? So they they create the supernova event. They gather the power, but then they go back twenty two minutes to before the supernova was was created. Okay. So does that mean that they could then store that power in the Ash Twin project and then live for X, Y, Z amount of years, centuries, dec decades, centuries, millennia? And then when they run out of power in the Ash Twin project, they can then do this whole thing again. The problem is now, because the sun station didn't work and the sun is naturally... The sun is naturally like dying on its own life cycle. Because we go back in time 22 minutes, we're kind of stuck in a recurring loop. Unless there is a way to stop. See, what sends the order? 
yeah so the only way to stop this uh, loop from happening then is to stop the ash twin project sending a command to the orbital pro cannon to fire back in time 22 minutes the problem in doing that okay is that the supernova event will occur and then that's it the sun is gone and we can no longer go back in time so it's going to permanently break the cycle i believe if we do that which is very very interesting indeed anyway my coffee cup is empty so before we carry on theorizing and reading any more of the story i'm going to go and grab a quick coffee so uh, bear with me guys i will be right back and i am back um you asked what was what were they building the astrium project for um So the Ash Twin project was a project to just to send information back in time, I think. send the information back in time maybe just maybe they were trying to send information back in time to tell the no my not to travel here We're holding our research into creating a supernova for the moment. A comet a newly a newly arrived in the solar system. We're anxious to explore it. Uh, yeah, don't do it. I'm telling you now. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine the knowledge that may be gained there. Also, imagine the um, disappointment you're going to find when you find out it's going to kill you all. The ghost matter. Uh, I've installed the masks into the Astrium Project. Fox look beautiful, although I do say I feel like it's being observed. It's coming to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Uh, yeah, okay, so I think we've read all of this stuff before. No goes wrong with the Astrium Project statues. We'll make us aware of the situation and be able to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. read all this but I will just make sure um, this all should be the last we need to for the Ash Twin project once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances Remy and I will be checking for the interior and then the exterior for cracks and file safety check that's exciting news can I have extra advice for the file check specifically mine my work here is complete. I'd be glad to help. I'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw in the opening in the shell that protects the ash twin could lead to disaster. I have good news, Yaro. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of the ash twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everything in here is working in the ash twin project. So I see it. Pi is beside itself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Of course, your abilities could still be improved. I need more time. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Ignore this, Yarrow. The core is finished, and my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Brutal. Um, I haven't been asking questions, or I've been I've been refraining from asking questions at the moment. If I'm honest, I am kind of just trying to piece things together myself. If that's all right, artificial gravity control. Okay, well, 
we turn that off? You are about to access the core while the Ash Twin pro project is active. Moving the core will disable the Ash Twin project. Okay. Obviously. Oh, where have we seen one of these before? Gravity back, thank you. Okay, so I don't know how much longer I've got on the loop, but Music is very different. The music is very, very different. I'm worried. <laughs> I've just killed the loop. Um, energy cables from the surface are plugged into protective casing in the center of the planet. There are eight monoliths with no more mass tests. Three of the masses are active and remain the probe tracking modules. Giant deep timber hearth. Respectively, the astronaut project was designed to use energy from supernova triggered by the sun station. Send a probe data over to probe cannon every 22 minutes into the past. The sun station did not work, although the astronaut project was theoretic sound and no more on to power. There is an advanced warp core inside the protective casing in the center of the planet. Remove the core to save the astronaut project, which we have done. And I think we are about to die. Like, properly this time. Or maybe not, because that's still going around. Okay, so there might still be time. Um, I need to go... Where? Um... Man, what is this music? This music is epic. And of course I'm flying away from Dark Bramble. I'm extremely worried about what's going to happen. I think when we was inside Ash Twin, we had about 14 minutes of the loop left when we started pausing the um, when we started pausing the text in different bits and pieces.
Do you know what? I gotta really say the sound design in this game is just beautiful. But the 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 difference with the um, depending where you are. Oh, we're in trouble! We're in trouble! We're in trouble! We're in trouble! Jeez. Yeah, depending where you are, like the difference that is used in like the the um, the subtle tones and bits and pieces. I'm sorry, I'm I'm like trying to concentrate, describe my feelings of the game. And navigate Dark Bramble all at the same time. Which possibly isn't the best thing to do. Oh, son of a biscuit. No! Well... That's the end of the universe. We... are... dead. Uh. All right, well, the credits are rolling. Might be a good time to vocalize some opinions again. So obviously, once we take that core out, um, once the core is gone, we have whatever time we've got left to do whatever we need to do. Um, I haven't seen anywhere else where there's a warp core needed other than the vessel itself. So, is it a case that we will... get the core, go to the ship, and just try and get away from the supernova. But then that's still, to me, that's still, um, still raises questions for me because what was the point in finding the coordinates of the eye, if that was the case. Surely we've got to go to the eye at some point. No? Save, aren't we? All right, so don't want to freeze any of this again. I want to keep an eye on the time. And I've just got to navigate the anglerfish a little bit better. Interesting though, does the... I wonder if... Or my ship log is still there. All right, we'll take four minutes 
check the ship log. Hopefully all the text is... I, I think the text will still be there. Yes. Okay, everything is still there. Excellent. All right, so here's the plan. Step one, Ash Twin Project. Step two, mark the vessel on the hood. It's fine. Okay, wait for this to pass. Currently 16 minutes till the end of the sun. So on the next time around, we should be able to get into the project. I hope. Let's put a little bit of light on the subject. I wonder how this tower got destroyed then. Obviously, we know that the Nomai were pretty much made ex extinct because of the discovery of the interloper and the ghost matter kind of becoming unstable and exploding everywhere. Doesn't really explain what happened to this tower here, though. I don't even think we're going to get into the uh, war platform this time around. Okay, we might just make it if we as we go on the right side. The tower, which is this one. I don't quite know how this dude died here as well. This we've got this Nomai here was perished. Maybe he just got flung up in the air and during the um, the sandstorm or something. Okay, let's see if we can do this again. Turn off the gravity. Do I even need to 
I think I need to even turn the gravity back on, do I? No. Okay, we have a warp core. You epic end of world music. We have got 12 and a half minutes left. Figure out and do. Whatever it is, we need to figure out and do. Alright. Just gotta get past these anglerfish. I'm not in so much of a rush this time. So I'm hoping uh, I can stealth my way through a little bit better than last time. Yo, Karaki, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, this is the spooky bit. 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 Spooky bit. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. All right. Stay. I, I hate trying to repair the ship. I honestly do. Something else that's broken, isn't there? I don't know where it is. A hole. You know what? Now that I've actually landed, the, sh the ship has landed, it might be easier to repair. Um. Okay. Calm down. It's not panic. We can do this. We've got eight and a half minutes to go. Take your time. Oh, and he was waiting for me. Still there waiting for me. Are you 
actually kidding. Well... I now hate Dark Ramble even more than I hated it before. It's official. Maybe I need to, I, I don't think I can go the other way though, that's the problem. So I'm sure if I go the other way, and as I did before, it takes me to... It takes me just to like the, um, like the seed sort of thing, where the, um, the Nomai try were tracking from the um, escape pod. They were tracking the signal from there, and they got to that point, and they were like, how can we get through there? We can't fit through there, because it's such a small gap to kind of, like, go through. How did I get to the vessel the first time? Uh, not like this. <laughs> um, so the first time I went to the vessel, I found the escape pod. I followed the lights, but then it takes you that it takes you to like the seed sort of thing, whereby um, it's like the one on 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 our home planet. We can't. Um, you can't go through it. So I fired my scout into it, and then I found where the signal was coming from. At least I, that's what I think I did. I mean, I can. I'll go the other. I'll go in the other direction this time, just to see, just to m make sure what I'm saying is correct. Yeah, yeah, I had to go through the fishes, yeah. And every other time I've done it, I've had no issue whatsoever. And I've gone past them flawlessly. It's just like this one time now that I'm under pressure because I want to get through it. Um, I'm now failing, which is the annoyance for me. I'm not disputing the fact that you don't have to go through the fish. Massively overshot. Massively overshot. I might be able to make the towers though, if we're quick. I had this issue last night where I was just, I was getting, I, I felt like I was getting close to the goal and then I started to rush. And then I keep making stupid mistakes. I need to learn to. Take my time a little bit. Again, stupid mistake there. Oh, I really want to get in here. That's not going to help. <sighs> no, come on. I'm being stupid.
Somehow I made it. Might just need to repair my cockpit a little bit. No, I missed it. Son of a biscuit. I guess I went too early. Which is, um, yeah, frustrating. Frustrating, but totally on me. on the move. cleared the sun, so let's um, put on the brakes. No! No, 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 no. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, we've got loads of time. Loads of time. Don't rush. Don't panic. We are not struggling for time. Particularly smart, but okay. So maybe what I should do is I should fire my scout. First. And then when the scout goes through, maybe that's when I should make my run for it. Perhaps. I struggled so much the first time to do it. Uh, that time to do it when I've like hit it flawlessly two times in a row. There we go. X. 
Excellent. Okay. Okay, we have 13 minutes and 15 seconds left. Um, excuse me? Oh, wow, that's interesting. I couldn't walk back because my scout was on the platform. All right. Are we... Let's go. Third time lucky, maybe. Let's do this. We'll clear the trajectory of the sun. I think. I hope. I pray. Minus eleven and a half minutes. Let's go to the white one this time. We know that the red one is certain death. Unless we play our cards right. Little taps of the thrusters. to go. Yeah, you see, this is where the... This is why I didn't come this way before. We 
because this doesn't allow us to come through, does it? This is where all the Nomai's died. Okay, well, this is not the place we're looking for. So we do have to go to the red area. That is not good. It's like the freaking is Ripley's worst nightmare. It's like the alien hive in here. Okay, that's where we gotta be very, very careful. get past this first bit. No! confused. I'm like, seriously confused. How have I got past these things so easily before? They can't see, they react to sound. All right. Well, questions have been asked. Um, answers have not been provided. <laughs> that seems to be the... Um the easiest way to describe that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause again real quickly. I'm going to grab some lunch. It'll be about uh, 10 minutes or so. Just grab some lunch, have something to eat, and then um, we'll have some more attempts. But I, I honestly, I don't know why I'm struggling so much at um, doing this segment. And... Um, quite frustrating for me at the minute but uh, yeah we'll be back momentarily as soon as I have uh, had some lunch so bear with me guys and uh, we will be back real soon all right so let's jump back into the previous save let's see if we can't get past these damn anglerfish what's going on crazy welcome back How was your uh, technology systems lesson? Excuse me. <gasps> Wake up, it's a beautiful morning. But now I want to go back to sleep. Five minutes. Yeah, no, I just took a break just to get some lunch. Got a quick 10 minute break. To heat up my taco beef. Without the wrap, which uh, I'll be honest, I should have done it with rice. It was a bit dry, but you know what? I ain't got time for rice. Not when we've got a problem to solve. Disconnect. 
There you go. Clear the sun. And throw in all the power of it. And hopefully, get us to where we need to be. I hope. I hope we overshot it massively. Not massively. Alright. Slow it down enough. We'll take over. Plop it down here, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Now we wait. Probably shouldn't do that because I'll probably miss my cue. And then I'll get frustrated again. We definitely do not want that. That is for sure. So I understand how this Nomad died right here. Unless they got like sucked up by the sand and then dropped on the floor real hard. Maybe they came from the other planet. Maybe. the warp core. Give me the warp core. <laughs> Excellent. The fun way out. Okay, here we go again. the interloper. Uh, Dark Bramble, where, where art thou? Not waste time. Let's do it. There it is. Over there. 28 kilometers away. Autopilot now, just so it slows us down properly. We don't overshoot. Cue dramatic endgame music. Let's go on, Snake. Bye, how you doing? Hope you're well. I love this rendition, though, of like the um, the song. All right, so this is attempt number. Honestly, I don't even know what attempt it is. 
it's for some reason I am struggling. Now that I'm under pressure, I'm struggling to get through this area and get past the anglerfish, and I don't know why. I can make it to this point fine. And the minute I go through this one, I just end up dying because the anglerfish are like blocking the entrance. They're complete jerks. do not want to do this anymore. Literally, like... second wait a second I may have just had a thought about how I might be able to get around them a little bit easier <gasps> I wonder I wonder if I could use my scout as a distraction. To ward them away from that entrance. Yeah. And the frustrating thing is, I'm not doing anything differently to what I've done in previous attempts. Just for some reason, this time around, for whatever, whatever reason, what I've done before isn't working. I've literally just, like, glided past them before. It's almost like because it's like the because it's end game. I, I, well, I believe it's end game because I believe it's end game. It's almost like the game's like nope, 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 nope. We're going to give them a heightened sense of sense of um, hearing, even more so. And um, yeah, they're just going to absolutely wreck you. Like seriously, every time I have got to that point before, I have just breezed past them. No issues whatsoever. I don't know what's so different this time around. This is like attempt number five, and I die at the same point every single time.
No wonder this place looks so trippy in the projection poles. The whole thing just sort of like spinning round and round and round the equator. Oh, that bit, yeah. Okay, I never, never really thought about that. Yeah, that would definitely work. Sun. Camera a bit dark. Might have to lighten that up in a minute. dark and gloomy outside. Okay. Scout doesn't work. Do you know what? I don't know what to do. I don't want to keep doing this over and over again. found me. And now I'm screwed because I did this before and they were literally waiting now 
in that opening for me when I come back. I don't even know what noise I made there. That was some... Um, great ABS, if you ask me. But I might just be instantly dead here. No, we're good. seven minutes left here. This is what we did before though, wasn't it? This is like the whole fire the scout into the hole into the hole kind of thing. I don't think it's going to make any difference, but, I mean, what have we got to lose right now? I think I'm just going to get instantly killed when I go in here. Because the anglerfish are just going to be there waiting for me. <sighs> yeah, see that? <laughs> I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. <sighs> I have got past these things so many times before without an issue. And the one time it matters, we can't get past them. Unbelievable. Um, very dark, isn't it? I'll try your approach this time, Snake Bite. Is there anything subtle you can give me, like, without completely giving it away? Because at this point, I just feel like I've, like, forgotten a core game mechanic for this part. But no word of a lie, I have, like, been... I have been past that point so many times before already that's what I'm finding frustrating I'm not doing anything different to what I have done previously and it's worked Freaking hot. I 
Okay. So your advice is do nothing. <laughs> okay. See, when I've got past before, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I have like nudged the thrusters like ever so slightly, and that's what I've been. That's what I'm trying to do here. Also, um. I hope my ship's not in the firing line of the uh, the funnel. That would be catastrophic. I think it's all right. I think. I suppose I just got to have. Faith, then, and belief that it will work. Because I'll be completely honest, it really doesn't look like it's going to... When you get to that point, it really... Oh, my ship's gone. Oh, I just cannot get a break. It really does, just does not look like you can um, get past that part. It really doesn't. Okay, I think my ship is still. Okay, I think my ship is still in the vicinity. I think we're still all right. It's still only like a hundred and some odd meters away, which is good. So it comes down to that. In fact, I've just completely then misunderstood how to do this bit and how to get past these. And I think I must have just looked my way past them before previously. Oh, hey, look at that. It's like ballet parking. Okay, we're about 11 minutes to go. Nice appearance there by the quantum moon. So is that, can I, can I just ask something about, is that, is that, is that true then of all, like all of these, like the minute I go in here, the minute I go in here, will it just automatically take me where I need to go? Or do I literally just like point at my direction and I oh, just the red one? Just the danger one. Believe in it. Believe in the process.
Okay. Is there any point I can put the hammer down, or do I just literally keep slowly floating towards the vessel? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I reckon we just continue like this for now. Up the pace. There's an anglerfish right there. Um. Okay. We made it to the vessel. We have got about seven and a half minutes left. Okay. We put the warp core in. Okay. Oh, this is where we need to Oh, where? Oh, crud. Oh, we need the... We need the pitcher! No! We need the pitcher of the, um, um, um... We need the coordinates for the eye. Popped up on my screen. Oh. Can I please get on the ground? Please. Jeez. Uh, Alright, so that... No, no, no. <laughs> oh, God. That's not right, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the first one's wrong as well. I don't know how to interpret that first signal, though. That first symbol. 
Oh, no, I do. I totally do. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm done. That's it. Doesn't have to join. I've got four minutes left. I'm so, like, rushing and panicking right now. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is the eye. Are we still on the clock? Are we still on the clock here? Is that the way back? Oh boy. So what, the the eye is a planet? There's strong gravity here, that's for sure. I guess this is the, uh, this is all the quantum rocks, right? But they're not moving when we, um, we don't look at them. This is interesting. Okay. This is... This is getting freaky. Oh my goodness, that scared the living with Jesus out of me. Oh wait, this is the um yeah, this is the, the north again, isn't it? This is where we could see to the quantum moon before, isn't it? We're going down. Am I stuck? Did I make a mistake? Nope, I think I gotta jump through here. Um We're at the museum. Wait. Oh, we keep putting us back if we try and go elsewhere. Is this post? Oh, this must be post the supernova. Everything's destroyed. Surely they were not the only ones who survived.
it continues to put me back to the entrance if I deviate from the path. So maybe maybe somebody from Outwild Ventures is like here with us. Okay. Every single star in the universe is just dying. Wow. Wait a minute, is this... Is this some, like... Is this some sort of race? Because I, I literally just went up to this. And I'm killing stars, it seems. I don't know if they're connected. Is this somebody's, like, home planet? I mean... The entire universe is like just what are we meant to do? My God, was that ourselves? Wait, what? Did we just discover ourselves? Wait, what? Eska? Do you hear music? my 22 minute timer going off. I think we're long past that now. Yo, Mr. Fab, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. I do hear music. Oh, there's a hole in the top. There we go. I wasn't there before. What? Oh. 
That wasn't destroyed like that before. Clever. Okay, so we're picking up the instruments. Um, it's not quite time yet. Pretty sure we need other folk for this next part. We'll need you now, everyone. No rush, take your time. Might even might not even exist here. Ah, oh, this is trippy. Oh, do we just do we just need to wait? No. Okay, I think I flew out of bounds or something. You forgetting someone? Oh, the poem. In the ancient glade, it's always dark. Okay, we got the loot. Hey, time pal. So you're getting the band back together, huh? Well, and find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet, but you will. Okay. Who's the piano? Oh. Uh, hi there. Hi there. Why, hello. I'm extremely weirded out right now.
Oh, it's the Nomai dude. It's Alarnum. Everything must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, I believe we'll be ready for the next step. I'm glad you remembered me. Alright, let's go and get the harmonica. Hatchling, you found me. Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, go get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. Oh my, have they patched something into the end here? Have they patched something? Have they patched something in here from The Stranger? The, the music and the vibe sounds like the slide reels from The Stranger. Oh, this is the tree. This was the tree that gave us so much trouble. So Johnny, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. How do we do this? It's going to be the prisoner, isn't it? alarm bells from the um Is there a way through? No, it, it won't turn the other way.
I'm not sure what to do. Yeah, it's um it's just locking up. There's a route under the ground somewhere, but I don't know how or where. Maybe I just have to pinpoint, like, the signals. And then press the thing. Sure. I need to go to the lab real quick. Give me a sec, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm assuming nothing happened while I was gone. Um, it's supposed to turn in one of the two. Okay. But yeah, literally, like, look, it's not turning that way. And it won't turn the other way. I wonder if I have to leave this one till last, maybe. So let's go and find Chert. Because Chert is our last our last one to find from the actual OWV. What's the what's the point of this? Just puts us back at the beginning.
A bit like a maze. Yeah, I am forgetting someone. So it's not walking backwards, it's not a maze. It's not... not keep that in the center it's not keep the Sun in the center can't interact with the I interact with this Too far away. But it won't let me zoom in. I can't zoom in. I can't zoom in and I can't equip my scout launcher. Unless my controller's playing up. Ugh. Really? That's my controller. I'm sorry, but I've been pressing R1 for like the last, I don't know how long. And my control, that's probably why we couldn't do the other one. <sighs> All right, before I talk to church, just in case, I'm going to go and do this now. Sorry, but that's just a bit. Yep, there we go. It's annoying because, like I said, I had, like, tried that. Interesting that there are... Um Interesting that there are um, pictures of everybody we're left behind. That's not freaky. Oh my goodness me. I 
Okay. We've got everybody. I'm sorry if I got annoyed in the last 10 minutes of this, um, or the last, you know, 10, 15 minutes of this, but it's, um, it truly is just my, um, controller that has played up there and uh, made the job harder than it had to be. My kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of. They were terrified. It was too di difficult to truth, like the light, to, too bright to look upon directly. It burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in the darkness, obfuscated, then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I'm still of my kind. And you know, and you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear would, won't stay in your mind. And so a choice. Are you certain you want to remember it? Remember me? Yeah. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. Come and join us, my friend. And then we need to talk to... Where's he gone? Has he joined us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free. Yet, here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Not yet. I'm waiting this moment for a long time. For so long, it is no trouble to wait a little longer. I guess you can talk to any one of these characters then now, and um, you can initiate the final step from any of these, I guess. Take your time. I don't think there's anything left to go supernova. Alright, well... Shall we begin? Ah, oh, the jam. Conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happened now. Is it time to find out? Yes. The song is new to me, but I'm honored to be part of it. What do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? <laughs> this should be cool. Tapping in with the fire. Go. Time to send our spark out into the darkness. cool that even like the Nomai and the inhabitants of the stranger are optional are still included if you found them in the final bit such like attention to detail how long has it been since I got to make music for everyone around a campfire I'm really happy we're all here could a little close didn't you don't you think well it worked out all right in the end I suppose Ah, I hope they're all beasties in the next one. Wait. I hope there are beasties in the next one. Are we creating a new universe? Is that what we're doing here? I tell you what, this has been really fun. And I got to help make something pretty, really cool. So I've got no complaints. I mean, not me. Exactly. But close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? No. 
tending to linger in this moment while every possibility still exists, but unless unless they are collapsed by an, by an observer, there will never be more than possibilities. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning, but I think the rules are about to change. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past is the past now, but that's, you know, that's okay. It's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even if we get if we won't get to see it. Still, it's um, time for something new now. How beautiful. It's different than I'd envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. All right, excuse me. So my, I don't know. My impression is, even if you don't find Solanum, does she appear at this this point here? Because she's the one that's got the option. Or if she's not here, does one of the others, like Chert or someone, have the option to like proceed? That'd be interesting to um, be interesting to know. All right. I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. Oh, okay. Is that the Big Bang that starts creates the universe? Uh, just give me a minute here to actually take everything in. I mean, jeez. What a game. What a freaking game. I mean... First and foremost, I suppose I should say a massive thanks to LB who donated this game. I mean, without LB, we wouldn't, you know, we might not have even played this. So yeah, first and foremost, thank you very much to LB for his kindness and the uh, donation to the channel. Uh, sorry, just give me a sec. I need to go grab a drink. My throat's um, getting a bit scratchy. Two secs.
Oh, sorry about that, guys. I went to get a drink, and then literally as I opened my door, my wife was stood there. She's been out, and she's just come back. So it's good job. I kind of like got in there as we are. I might have got a bit of a scare on the stream. Yeah, so um, like I was saying, massive thank you to LB, first and foremost, for um, donating the game and giving me the opportunity to play it. It's not probably something... Because I didn't know anything about it, it's not something I possibly would have picked up and played myself. So, um, yeah, I'm really really happy and pleased that i got to experience this game not knowing anything about it and um i suppose second thanks goes out to everybody who's been here on the streams and in the videos for keeping it 100 percent spoiler free i have to say i i can't say how um grateful i am for that for being able to experience this completely blind um so thank you to everybody who's been in the streams and watched the videos and like I said, kept everything completely spoiler free. Um, I'm guessing by your comment there, um, Snakebite, that there is, um, there's uh, something um, at the end of the credits. So um, I think we're probably coming up to that um, momentarily. So I'll just hold off everything else for now. Just until um, we've seen absolutely everything. Assuming there is. 14.3 billion years later. The universe looks nice and healthy again. Almost like a variation of the um, the inhabitants of the stranger. Yeah. The lantern guy isn't there. If you don't bring the stranger along, I don't know why you wouldn't bring the stranger along, though. To be fair. Has um, went to all that trouble, free him from the prison and everything. So, what what do we actually make of this, and what do we take from this? Well, yeah, I suppose that's there's also that as well. Um, I'm just trying to sort of piece together like that last kind of whole hour of gameplay. So from like getting into the Ash Twin project and, and taking the core out to the actual end game there. Um, yo, Snakebite, thank you for the £10 donation. I'm glad you enjoyed the playthrough. Um, really do appreciate that, buddy. Thank you very much. And uh, you are most kind. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've got some... I, I don't, I'm just trying to, like think about what actually happened and, and piece together it all it all together law wise and i know i get the impression with this game that it's it's a bit open-ended there is no right and wrong answer as such there is um oh lb lb well you can join in you can join in our end game discussion then can't you you can ah <laughs> uh, um I know, I know, but I'll be honest, right? I, I finished the stream last night and I laid in bed and I think it was half past two and I was still awake and I was still thinking about it and it was still buzzing through my head and I'd got a day off today and I was going to have a game stay and do some catching up a bits and pieces and I was like, nope, <clears throat> I got to jump on this. I didn't want to leave it where we left it and... Um, yeah the rest is um history so we got um we got we only got two endings basically we got um because we 
Uh, I, I tell you, you'll you'll see back when you watch the final episode back, LB. But the um, I really had a hard time getting past the anglerfish for some reason. I don't know why. I think it took us about six or seven attempts to get past the anglerfish. <laughs> I, for, for some reason, I, I was pretty sure before when I went to the vessel, I used propulsion to get past them, like little tiny taps. Um, but it just did not work this time around, and I was getting a bit... I wanted to get mad, but I was getting a bit frustrated, and I couldn't understand why it wasn't work. So yeah, we, we died to the anglerfish numerous times. Of course, um, we could still go back and do other deaths, like um, letting the supernova event happen. But um, yeah, so we, we've only had like death by anglerfish, and... Um, <laughs> um death by anglerfish and then we've got the the final ending and um <laughs> again um you'll still see but we we had a little bit of a moment where i got frustrated for about 15 minutes because i couldn't work out what to do and it turns out i needed to disconnect and reconnect my controller because my controls weren't working properly my r1 button wasn't working which um was slightly frustrating um anyway so let, yeah let's um Let's discuss, and like I said, I don't know, I, I get the impression the game has been made in a way that there is no right and wrong answers, and it's kind of left a bit open-ended in how you perceive it, um, the story, um, in certain respects. But I kind of guess the, what I take from it is like the Nomai put so much, everyone puts so much effort into the eye, right? and into like trying to stop the signal from the eye and being able to uh, sorry not being able to but trying to find a way to stop the eye destroying things or, or doing whatever it was doing when in reality the eye was probably is probably the most important part because it's the part that has recreated the universe almost in like the big the big bang theory almost whereby once we was inside the eye we was able to start that off and it the, the entire universe was recreated um i do find it a little bit weird that like all the stars of the different solar systems kind of seem to be like linked together in that um, they all seem to sort of die and the whole universe like is dying at the exact same time but then even though the solar systems are their own entities i suppose they're part of the universe and the universe is dying so i i can see how that makes sense um but yeah i, I just i, I don't know, it's, it's i want to talk about it but it's kind of i still find it all a bit overwhelming if i'm honest um i'm sure there's this there's, there's still even more to find out there like little little bits and pieces that we haven't found so far um i really love the way and I, I know i've been vocal about this previously but i really really love the way they integrated the dlc on so many levels like they made it um they made it in a way that um you can go about the game you don't have to do the dlc but if you've done the dlc you get rewarded by like the extra characters at the end and like the extra little bits and pieces and if you um if you go out your way to find um Solanum, obviously she's there around the fire like i did say i i, I guess there is I, I think you said snake by the, the somebody else but i i did guess that there was um Solanum or another know my figure appeared at the um at the fire regardless of whether you found her or not because she was the one that had the option like to, to kick things off and, and get things um working so yeah, I mean, yeah, the the strangers the strangers weren't wrong when they saw the the, the vision that the eye is going to create everything uh, is going to destroy everything. Um, weirdly, though, although it destroys everything, <clears throat> were we no? Were, were we? What would have happened if like nobody had made it to the eye? You know, that would just be like the end of the universe, right? <clears throat> so are we to take from it that we've like prolonged the life of the universe by doing what we've done quite possibly and yeah we um 
we, we talked about that actually, LB, when um, <clears throat> when we got to that. So uh, yeah, I was aware of that. Excuse me. Yeah, we did what we um, what we say in IT as um, have you turned it off? Have you turned it back on again? Basically, <laughs> and um, everything is um, is fixed. But um, yeah, I'm just absolutely speechless. Really, am speechless with this game. Um, again, to echo what I said a, a, a moment ago, you know, it's going to this completely blind and not knowing anything about it was just such a special experience. Uh, more so than any other game, really. Um, I just think the sense of the, the way the game's made and the sense of um, discovery and like the wow factor it gives you when you discover something new, it just made me hunger, hung, sorry, hungry for like for more. I just wanted to keep playing and playing and playing. I wanted to find out more and more and more, and it had me so hooked and so invested in this title. And honestly, I don't know that a game has ever done that to me before. I've um, obviously got invested in games before, but not to the extent, I don't think, that um, I have in this one. So, um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Like I said, LB, thank you very much once again for you know introducing me to it and, and bringing it into my life because, like I said, I don't think I would have... I don't think I would have played it, honestly. I don't think I would have played it, but I am so glad that you gave me the opportunity to play it and um, to to witness it in all its glory. So, um, yeah. Where do we go from here? <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's going to bring it to an end. That's the end of um, Outer Worlds playthrough. I can now go off and start watching some of LB's um, spoiler videos <laughs> for the, uh, the Echoes of the Eye. Yeah, I've got a little playlist going of all the ones that you've been putting out, LB, so I'm quite interested to uh, jump into those. And I'm also quite interested to now go and sort of do some research and read a bit more about the lore and the story and everything. So, um, yeah, that's the, the rest of my day is most definitely sorted. But guys, I want to thank you once again for coming on this journey with me. Um, I want to also thank you, like I've said many times before, for um, being part of this uh there's no recall endings well, you know what we, we've got time time we can why don't we play around with it some more now you can do more stuff with the black hole and the ash twin project all right. The playthrough is not over. <laughs> playthrough is not done yet. I did think about... Um, I did think about, like, the endings and things, because I thought, well, what if you, like die i don't think i did but what if you die before you've even started um before you've even like met the statue for the first time in the museum if you would like to like jump in one of the geyser holes or some the geyser holes geyser however you want to pronounce it i know um we we've done it since we when after since after we did it after we Oh, okay. And then shows you the credits. It's like short, shortest, uh, shortest playthrough ever. <laughs> yeah, I, I know we we died. We died from the geyser or the geezer. Um, it'd be like um, it'd be like playing the witness and finding the um, finding the thing after five puzzles <laughs> on the gate. <laughs> shortest game ever. <clears throat> All right, so 
Okay, so I will put this out there. I'm just going to change the title. Um, game complete. Boilers, welcome. <laughs> There we go. Your spoilers are welcome. <laughs> I can imagine so, though. You know, I mean, if you, you pay... Ah, oh, he's already bought my controller. You, you pay that money, like, for a... You pay full price for a game, and then it's over after, like, a very short amount of time. You'd be like, huh? Can I get a refund? Ah, um, we're coming in too hot. Was that is that some sort of spoiler LB? Lab? You want me to go to the lab? There's so many, like, different ways I could think here, though, to, like, end. End things. Like, we could just pick up the sphere and we could drive straight into the sun. You know, that's a thing we could do. Did you ever try pulling out the warp core at the high energy lab while two scouts are in existence at once? Uh, I don't think I did. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, snake bite. Um, yeah, this is a much easier way of getting into here. I must, uh, I must agree. The way I was um, doing this bef originally, until you mentioned that, was, um, I guess, it was slightly lucky. Yeah, I didn't use the cubby. I used the... Um, I was using the space underneath the bridge and then running in. So I still feel a bit... Yeah, you see, I it, it still took me a while to work that out. I mean... I'm a little bit sort of like... The, the, I was reading the text at the, at the start of the stream about the different bits and pieces and what I actually needed to do. And it says about like there being like a, a shared, a single shared point for the um, the Ash Twins, right? And I was like, well, there's two. And really, I don't know, it just really confused me. That, to me, the, the um, it kind of in a way, suggested to me that, that there should be like a single point of, uh, sorry, I, I'm trying to remember how I kind of described it. It didn't make sense to me because it was saying that there was like a single point, but there are two warp pads and it had me confused for quite some time. Oh, you can't autopilot into the sun. Yeah, we went back to... We did go back to the... Um, these guys. Oh, I know, I know, I know a lot of words gone into it, but I've, I've spoken with Aaron, and we've also... Agreed. I guess we're okay. All right. I think we're back. Yeah, all right, so... I love this version of the, uh, the song as well, probably, I have to say. You are dead.
<laughs> Thanks, Snake Bite. Appreciate you being around. Thanks for hanging. And uh, have a good day. Thanks again for the uh, the donation. Well, weirdly enough, I I, bro I had a break for lunch, and when I came back, the final song before we actually came back to the game was um, uh, the the final song was that that one which we'd already heard anyway. But I kind of like I was listening to the actual song form of it rather than in game and it kind of like makes sense that it's the last thing cause it, like, you've even got like the breakdown of when you get like to um like within dark bramble like the little breakdown more quieter chilled version of it which is really cool but yeah it's a really cool version of the um of the song so one thing i mean obviously there's there's different endings um Is there actually anything like different? Does it actually tell you anything different like on the screen or is there like anything different to see other than just you are dead? I'm guessing there's probably... Um... Oh, there is. Okay. One thing we, we really should do, though, is we should um, we should get the warp core and we should um, let this the event occur. Confused as to which side we're uh, we need to be on. Leave the solar system with the core. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, we we finished it. We we made our way past it. We punched in the coordinates. We've been to the eye. So the um, the floodgates are open for spoilers now. If you've got anything you want me to to tell me, all right. Yeah, if there's anything at all you want to tell me now about the game, now is the time. The floodgates are open. When you say leave the solar system with the core, though, Mr. Fab, do you mean like at the end of the loop leave the solar system or at any point leave the solar system? Just to clarify. I also kind of feel like gravity at the end of the loop, okay. I mean, I suppose one idea to leave the solar system, because I know that the ship leaves it, is the stranger. Doesn't the, the stranger packs up and leaves, doesn't it? Midway through the loop. I don't know if we'll be able to... I don't know if we have time to like get to the stranger, though, because if it's moving, it might be gone. So, yeah, the, the Astrian project was, my understanding, 
was that it was built to take the energy of a supernova event, which the Nomai wanted to orchestrate themselves, I believe. And then they wanted to take that and then be able to go back 22 minutes to before the event occurred. Now, the whole idea, I believe, behind that was that they wanted enough energy to travel back in time. Initially, it was only 22 minutes, but I hypothesized and theorized that they were potentially looking to gather that much energy that they could go back further than 22 minutes and potentially even stop their um, crew or their, their people coming across the universe and discovering the eye in the first place, maybe. That's what I thought and put together. Whether or not that's um, anywhere near the truth, I don't know. I found something. Look what's in my hand. What was that in, um, sorry, what was the previous comment in relation to LB? See, before I, before I really, before we found out and discovered that the whole universe was dying, I theorized that, um, we knew that the Nomai could, they, they like went to these like meets, they're like conventions, I guess. Have you noticed in the core of the Ash Twin what the three... Oh, okay. What the three masks are paired up with. Well, yeah, the, the idea of the is to gather information as well, isn't it? Pretty sure that was one of the things. It was about gathering information and sending that information back 22 minutes, wasn't it? If I remember rightly. in the supernova. I was about to say, is that the stranger in like the bottom corner, bottom left hand corner, but it's not, it's um, Giants Deep, isn't it?
Well, I know that the masks are paired with... I know that the masks themselves are paired with myself, Gabbro, and um, Solanum, right? All right, we'll we'll check out the we'll we'll go back to the Ashtrin and we'll um we'll I'll I'll go over okay I'll go over everything again. Clearly, I've not understood something correctly. Then, man, space is lonely. Live on your own for the rest of eternity. Is that what it displays? Now beyond the reach of the supernova, you drift through space until your ship's resources are finally depleted. Enjoy life on your own. I'm guessing if you just um if you just sit through the normal supernova event, then um it just basically just says you're dead because you've died from the supernova, right? Anything that results in a death, I just, I guess, will just say you have died. Or you are dead. Out of curiosity, how many are there to find? Dead like the other Nomai, you see her body. Oh, so you see. oh, okay, so it's her body that we see. There's five more. Uh, I can think of. Just, just like. Just saying here. Is there a. DLC related one by any chance? Ain't stopping in time. Ain't stopping in time. Ain't stopping in time. <laughs> the reactor, isn't it? Where's the reactor? Uh... Still made it with loads of time, but what was the panic about? Alright, let me just quickly... Turn that on. I was dead not having the body in five out of six locations.
Um, I'm trying to understand that. <laughs> At the minute, I don't think my brain can actually comprehend. So, she's... I'm just trying to think, like, because she's quantum. Alright, let's, um... Let's look at these masks a minute, right. see both the quantum moon and the ice signal blocker in the sky. Yeah, the sixth location is orbit in the eye, which is why when you looked up you could see the um, the funnel, and I did comment on that when we was on the eye. I said, oh look, that's like the funnel that Lanham said to us when we met her on the quantum moon at the sixth location. Masks are linked to the statues, aren't they? But my understanding was whoever activated the statue was then linked to the So the Ash Twin project is what's causing the loop. Yeah, this is what I got before. It sends data back through time. So our memories are looping, is that what? Is that what we're saying? Is that what I'm supposed to be seeing here? That our, our memories are also looping. Yeah, this was the one I, I did spend quite a bit of time reading this this section earlier on <coughs> about the order of what thing what's meant to happen. Sun station received the artifact that will explode the sun, and then then you fire back twenty two minutes. And the reason you fire back twenty two minutes. is because wasn't that how long it took to get the cannon to yeah I spent, I spent quite a bit of time on this text before. 
The Ash Twin is what is responsible for creating the loop, and each loop lasts 20 sec 22 minutes. It can be ended at any time when you pull out the warp core. And it gives the signal to the sun station to fire up the sun to cause it to explode, which generates enough... Which generates enough energy which then sends the order to the cannon to fire to send every, every the, to send the cycle back in time. You know what? That's one thing I never thought to do is to be here when the supernova goes off. Weirdly, that hadn't even crossed my mind. Um, I don't know, though, how much time we've got left. We've got loads of time left, and I haven't started my timer. I suppose we could have... Okay. Apologies. Yeah, no, I know it tells me the time left in the Ashtwin project, um, but I want to I'm fast forward if I can a little bit. Um, Well, there's the... Let's, let's work at the ship level while we're here. Um, let's make sure... Um, turn them off for now. So, if we look at the log, right? And we look at... It's over here, isn't it? So, I, I took this. This the, this is basically explains what happened. So, they travelled here because of the signal of the eye, right? They were lured by the eye. But if I just go back though a minute through like some of LB's comments though, um, you said that the... Where was it? You said... Where was it? You said it somewhere. Yeah, that the eye is outside of the reach of the supernova. So... How much did I pay attention? Um, I could probably reel some off for you, but I couldn't tell you who was who. Because we know we had Pi, and we had... Cassava, and we had... You see, I just assumed, right, that the eye was in the solar system. But obviously, whatever happened... Oh, wait a second. I always... Th okay. So, I've, I've... I have misunderstood these murals, I think. So, I understood it that the eye was what caused their ship to crash, but it wasn't. It was whatever was happening with Dark Bramble at the time. I believe the eye is in orbit around the star system. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. So I just want to, sorry, not to deviate, but. I, I've misunderstood these. Looking at these again, look. I thought that they travelled to the eye, and it was the eye that destroyed the vessel, and something went wrong there, but it's not at all. Dark Bramble is responsible for the vessel crashing. So... 
so... Oh, we're not on the planet anymore. How did I... I'm not even sure how that happened. But it did. Um, so a question that kind of leaves me with then is... Did they know they travelled here because they already knew what the eye was and what it was capable of? I've, I've, I mean, I've, I must have read something. And again, I, I apologise if I've, like, completely missed some key information. Um, I have tried to take everything in as I've been going. Hmm, okay. Uh, yeah. I think I read everything in the vessel. It doesn't say that there was more to discover there. So, unless it's like something separate that wasn't included as part of the information on the um, on the ship's log, which I find hard to believe. Pretty much everything has been on the ship logged. I'm pretty sure I um, read everything. Pretty sure I did. I would have to go back and check, though. I'm pretty sure I read everything that there was to read on the vessel the first time I visited there, before we started doing the Stranger stuff. Yeah, I think I did. I think I did. I mean, I've still got like a few minutes. Let's just, let me just go back and check the ship log again. And look at the vessel's information. Um... They were worried that the signal might disappear so they would walk before they could tell another clan where they were going. I think that's the, uh, the uh, entry you're referring to, isn't it? There. So I'm pretty sure that I'd picked up all of the information from the vessel the first time I went there. Well, isn't that to do with the... Um, isn't that to do with the... Um, the Stranger? And what the Prisoner of the Stranger did? So that the, the the inhabitants of the stranger locked up the 
um, eye and blocked its signal, but the, the prisoner actually released it temporarily. And um, that's why they imprisoned him, because of what he did. Isn't that the reason why? Yeah? Yeah. And I think we actually had that discussion at the time um, when we finished at The Stranger, didn't we, LB, about... Um, I think we was talk I was trying to talk about who came first, the Nomai or the inhabitants of the Stranger. And obviously the inhabitants of the Stranger did first, and then somewhere in between there, them arriving and, and discovering what the eye was and um, the catastrophic events that occurred from that, obviously having um, destroyed their their home planet to come and um, voyage for this um Uh, not voyage, but they came looking for it, and then they realised actually, it's um, the eye is going to destroy everything. They were really kind of distraught about themselves. Tell from their names and how they refer to each other. That between the crash landing here and building the Astrium project, they went through two generations of Nomai. Uh, well, I do, I did, I have picked up on the fact that when there you read the, um, I'm sure it's when. They're playing. The kids are playing with the anglerfish. I think some of the kids grow up to be the adults later. And there's also um, there was also a there is also the there was there was I, I picked up on it when we we got to that part. I was reading some text and. I said something about that there was something that alluded. Oh, my, my mentor would be proud or something because they. I think they continued or finished their predecessor's work. So I think I already knew that like generations had passed with the Nomai. I think I was aware of that. So the third one is to do with the the probe tracking, right? So it keeps all of the data that the probe sends back and forth right so that they know whether or not they have found any information and if they if they keep looping every 22 minutes they've got a constant record of um the locations that they've sent probes to and whether they found any data yes i think that was it ld So isn't that the what the third mask is doing? I mean, initially I thought it was Solanum, but I guess not, because Solanum is... Yeah, okay. Which is what this is referring to. Sending all the data into the warp core. And then it's going to transmit it to the probe. Yeah, so this is all the. Well, guess what? There's one way to find out. Oh, we're running that. Right, I'm probably going to have to make this my last one because it's running out of time.
I am open to another stream though, because I feel like there is still so much to piece together. Yeah, it sounds good. I'll Saturday night then. We'll, we'll, we'll do it Saturday. We will do a bonus stream on Saturday then. Send signal to shoot probes to different random locations and so on. You're not looping yet as it shoots so many times. You already experienced 9 million or something loops. Finds the iron, activates the other masks. You and Gabro's Gabro pair. Okay, so hence why I, I guess. So we just happened to be in front of the eye at the right time then when um it had found when it had, it's uh it had done its nine million three hundred and something thousandth loop give yourself six minutes And I guess if others would then, um, if others, where are you, Ash Twin? Normally around the sun. Where is the Ash Twin? You orbit close to the sun. Yes. So I assume, uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's just an assumption, but I'm going to have to pinpoint it on the map, or else I'm not going to find it. Um, right, to, um, so it, I guess at that point in time, it activates every single one of the masks. Do they, so does does the pairing not remain open? My thought my thought on that would be um, once it's found, once the probe had found the the coordinates, it then activates all the masks, and then pairs people as and when, or it's just a it's just pure coincidence then that as. As I was stood by that mask, it happened to find the coordinates, and uh, we was the lucky ones, along with Gabro, to actually get paired with it. I guess. Where is the tower? It's here. No, we don't need to worry too much about landing the ship because we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to want this.
certainly an interesting um, there's certainly so many like interesting points of discussion and so many theories you can like derive up on this game that's what I've, I've that's what's drawn me in so much I can't imagine it'd be that much fun though, because what if you get caught in like a really rubbish 22 minute loop? Alright, how long we got? A little bit. Just need to go and turn off the gravity, I think. Else we're not going to be able to uh, jump into the black hole, are we? get to float around now in a gravityless chamber. Alright. Get ready to jump. I've almost managed another five hour stream today. I should uh, I should have more time off work. <laughs> oh jeez only. Okay, not sure what I was expecting, but I don't think it was that. We're gonna leave the game running now for for eternity. Do I need to go back to the Ash Twin, right? I can't even map until I uh, launch though, can I? Can I? Wait, I'm s uh, <laughs> Okay.
Why can I never find Church Camp? Like, ever. I'm uh, a bit freaked out right now. I can understand why I'm there. Because it's my... It's my memories that have gone back, right? But that would then suggest that... What would that suggest? I'm about to crash into a rock. like cutting it fine. Jeez. So if I was to... Um, you're me, then I'm as confused as you are. Do you think we have the same memories? Good question. Let's see. I remember all the time loops, including the last loop where I jumped into the black hole in here. What about you? Me too. Sounds like our memories diverged at the start of this loop. Makes sense to me, seeing how jumping into the black hole is definitely what created two of us. Hey, what do you think happens if I don't? If you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop? I mean, if you as ever, real as ever, so I don't think I'm a figment of your imagination or anything like that. You seem pretty real to me. Thanks, you seem pretty real to me too. So I guess there's just two of us now. Anyway, it's been good talking to me, you, me, incredibly strange, but good. See you around. Did we, about the day we, you know, about that one. The day I. What? No. No, I'm talking about the other one. Oh yeah, that makes way more sense. <laughs> yeah, now you've got it. That was an incredible day. That was probably the next great day of life after that one. Definitely no. It's the same memory as you, except for this loop, I mean. I started this loop by popping out of a white hole inside the Ashtrin project since in the loop before this one I jumped into the black hole. Hey, what do you think will happen if you don't jump in? Uh, okay. So I guess we just um, got the same sort of answers now. Where wasn't there my head in mind when they built the Ashton Project? I wonder if having two of us screws for well, it turned to each other, nothing exploded yet. And it feels really like, uh, <laughs> ah!
All right. Okay, um, I'll ask the question because I really have to wrap the stream up, but if I jump through the black hole again, do we duplicate some more? Is it possible to get more than two of me? I suppose is the uh, question that would be pretty darn strange though also how would the mask so how would the mask know which one to take the memories from because technically we're both paired to the mask right so In theory, it should be us. I guess it should be me. It should take the memories from because this is the one we're controlling. But yeah, I guess if I don't jump through there, I guess in order for that like to duplicate again, we would both need to jump through. So he would need to jump through and I would need to jump through as well. I would need to jump through to create him and he would jump through to create somebody else. Um, from now on, now on, you have to always jump through the black hole at the end of the loop, or else. <laughs> or else nothing. Whee! Well, I would love to, but like I've, uh, like I say, I am unfortunately out of time. Also, I think I've broke the game. I don't seem to be able to get off. Oh, there we go. Somehow managed to do it. You destroyed the fabric of space-time. You have met a terrible fate. <laughs> Reminds me of Oberdin. He met a terrible fate. <laughs> you managed to land on the sun station in the past, then after the second jump through the black hole, you can brag to yourself about how cool you are for having done so. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well... It's been an absolute blast today. We got through um, the um, Outer Wilds, of which... Um, is absolutely freaking amazing. On Saturday, then, we will do one final bonus stream of Outer Wild. So break out the wiki and you can spoil as much as you want as we um, uncover some of the Easter eggs and secrets there is still left to find. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. And yeah, Oberdin is a fantastic game. Absolutely fantastic. I think that's another one that LB donated to me, actually. LB is just the donator of fantastic games. Can't thank you enough, LB. Thanks, guys, for hanging. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, happy gaming. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.